Ready? One, two, three. Ah, hold on. I'm gonna lose him. Got him, got him, got him. That is a big fox snake. North Bass Island is slithering with snakes. Today we are exploring this remote landmass in search of the fox snake. So far we have spent several hours intricately examining the rock walls, rolling fields, and abandoned structures of this unique ecosystem. Yet the only reptile we have encountered thus far has been the incredibly common garter snake. In an attempt to get even more remote, we return to our kayaks and paddled around the southwestern edge of the island toward Manila Bay. Upon coming ashore, we prepared to stow our watercraft, and as I looked for a good place to pull our kayaks from the lake, the unimaginable happened. Snake, 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 hold on. Mario! Yeah. Got a snake. It's a fox snake, it's a fox snake, 100%. Yeah, 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 get your camera. The following series of events are chaotic, and the cameras are shaky but this is often exactly how animal encounters happen, when you least expect them. Here, 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 over here. Okay. Do you have it? Nope, it is right back in there. I'm gonna take off my hat, I'm just gonna die for it. Okay. Ready, one, two, three. Got it. Got it? Got it. Ah, that's about as real as a catch gets right there, guys. That is a big fox snake. I got my hand wrapped around his backside. Hold on a second. Ah, I gotta go underneath this underbrush to get it. Hold on a second. Up in these. Oh, I'm losing him, I'm losing him. Ow! Ah. Hold on, he's getting down into the sod. Hold on, I'm gonna lose him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Yes! That is a fox snake right there. Nice. That is the elusive fox snake that we have been searching for. Hold on guys, I am tangled up in vines here. That is a good sized snake. Nice. Look at that. Wow. Hold on, my sunglasses are smashed into my face. I literally had to dive into the underbrush to grab it. And the way that I saw it is just its tail disappearing into the underbrush. What an amazing catch. Okay, well, let's definitely get a cool segment with this snake. Let's find a better place to film it. Woo, high fives, buddy. All right. You're gonna get your photographs with the fox snake. Nice. Beautiful snake. Wow, yes. All right, guys, we'll talk about a chaotic catch. We spent the majority of the day searching North Bass Island for fox snakes and lo and behold we found one just at the opening to Fox's Marsh. How ironic is that? Fox's Marsh brings us to the fox snake. Now this is a completely harmless species which is oftentimes misidentified as a copperhead. Notice that checkered patterning that runs down the length of the body both on the back and on the underside but this is actually a species of rat snake. Now they are colubrids, non-venomous, and completely friendly. From the moment I place my hand on the snake to this moment right here, the snake has not once tried to bite me. You can see how incredibly calm it is. In fact, they're so calm, watch this. I can actually put it around my neck and on my hat very gently, and all it's gonna do is continue to climb, slither from one spot to the next, such a friendly snake. Hi, buddy. How are you? Now, this is actually a female. Females are larger than the males, and they can grow up to six feet in length. Now, this snake, I would say, all right, let me take you back off of my hat here, is about uh, three and a half, maybe four feet. So that is a good size fox, that is for sure. And I'm so excited to have found this snake because I'm telling you guys, we scoured this island looking for fox snakes. And while we saw many garter snakes and Lake Erie water snakes, the fox snake was the gem that we were after. Now what these snakes are hunting for 
because they're opportunistic, is pretty much anything they can come across. They will eat frogs and small little insects, other arthropods, but their primary source of food is small mammals, also birds. Actually, what they will do is stay underneath a bird's nest, especially this time of year when bird eggs are beginning to hatch. They'll wait for the babies to fall out of the nest, and then they will sit there and have a very simple meal. They will oftentimes rattle the tail. You see the tail, you see how short and stubby it is? They will rattle that tail in the leaves and that mimics a rattlesnake. Another reason that these snakes are sometimes mistaken as a venomous species. But the fox snake is completely harmless, guys. Now, for the most part, you will find these snakes on the ground. They're primarily terrestrial, but you may remember an episode from very early on in the Breaking Trail series where I actually climbed up a tree to catch a fox snake. They will occasionally go up into the trees to steal eggs or baby birds from the nest. This is a nomadic species, and during the breeding season, they will stay in one area to try to attract a mate. But throughout the rest of the summer, these snakes are moving from spot to spot searching for food. It's actually really tough to keep it still. You can see it's just wanting to slither from one hand to the next. And I'm just trying to be as gentle as I possibly can. Oh, such a cool snake. I love the coloration of the fox snake. You see the gold, copper, tint to the head and then all the gold and brown patterning that runs down the length of the body. And this is a very robust snake species. You can see how girthy this female is. Very healthy. Now you may be wondering why is this called a fox snake? And oftentimes when these snakes feel threatened, like if I was biting onto the snake and it felt that it was in threat for its life, they will release a musk that smells like a fox den. Now we have filmed with red foxes before and they have a very almost mustelid type smell to them. Of course, as we know, mustelids are members of the weasel family, but the fox snake will oftentimes omit a musk that smells just like a fox, and that is how they got their name. Now, these snakes will also go down into burrows to hunt after their prey, and I can imagine that like a fox, maybe that's also where the name came from because foxes live in dens. Well guys, a long day of searching finally led to an epic catch where we managed to get what I consider the true gem of the Lake Erie Islands, the fox snake, up close for the cameras. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Time to release the snake right back where I caught it. Here we go, all right, slither off. There she goes. My fox snake. There are few places in the world that I enjoy exploring as much as the Erie Islands. A remote world of animals and adventure await to be discovered every time I embark upon an expedition to this magical place. Some people fear snakes. I personally love them, and the non-venomous species that call this island chain home are as harmless as it gets. If you ever have the chance to visit Lake Erie's beautiful islands and encounter one of these peaceful reptiles, I hope that you will now have an appreciation for the wondrous creatures that they truly are. If you thought the fox snake was worth the wait, make sure to go back and watch where this episode began as we paddled across Lake Erie to explore the wilderness of Snake Island. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.